biography like this since maybe Gandhi. And I look a lot better under a sheet. <laughs> What a great script. I laughed. I cried. I lived. I died. Well, maybe I changed that last part. <laughs> there were wide changes since. Check out pages 24 to 32 where you made a complete fool out of yourself. I was an innocent young girl seduced by the big city. Sounds like a lot of big cities. <laughs> Is that what you read? That's what I read. Shall we close your eyes? Why? What are you going to do? Just do it. Okay, you can open them up now. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Cheating on my girlfriend. <laughs> Exactly. Ever since I can remember, people have been looking at me and never seeing the real me. This movie deals with me, not just a sex object. <laughs> Stop staring at me now, Joey. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my head. I read that script from cover to cover. And you were admired. People like to look at you. Let's face it, you're a sex object. You know, Joey, there's no longer any shame attached to getting psychiatric help. What do you want? Dad's home, and he has news. Get downstairs. Don't you order me around. I'm not the family dog. Dad sent a big star to play Jennifer Farrell. They found a big star to play me. Put on your flea collar and let's find out who. <laughs> Hey, Dad, who's playing Jennifer Fowl? Now, this is a big announcement. Let me sit down. <laughs> sit down, George. Relax. Okay, he's relaxed. <laughs> Before he nods off, ask him who's going to play me. Dad, who's the big star? Come on. First things first. Because this was Jennifer Farrell's home, they're going to shoot one of the scenes from the movie right here. No! You're talking oh. about I hope we have enough guest towels. Don't worry, they're actors. They don't wash. <laughs> Look who's talking. A man who'd build a summer home on Banditti Mount. Yeah, ask him who's gonna play me. Hey, Dad, who's playing Jennifer Farrell? <laughs> okay, okay, don't swallow your tongue. I'll give you a hint. It's a major motion picture star and a favorite of this family. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to snap the head off her Barbie doll. <laughs> Sheila Drake. She's wonderful. She's beautiful. She's stacked. <laughs> She's dog food. <laughs> well, I'm starved. Watch for dinner. I'll give you a hint. It's a major dinner I'm paying a favor of this family. <laughs> Dog food. Let's put it this way, Joey. If Attila were alive today, she'd be Mrs. Hun. <laughs> She's the biggest star in Hollywood. Not when I was around. We were not friendly rivals. Broad was always trying to make me look bad. It's <laughs> history. Forget about it. I hate her. Sheila Drake is a great actress. I hate her. <laughs> is there anybody who can play you better? No. But I still hate her. <laughs> Harry! Harry, how are you? Why, it's been years. 
How's the wife? And little Billy? I'll bet he's in college by now, huh? Gee, it's good to see you. <laughs> Keep forgetting I'm dead. Well, how's Miss Drake doing? Is everything okay? Relax, Bobby baby. Everything is under control. Okay, everybody. Can I have your attention, please? As those of you who've worked on a Sheila Drake movie before know, if we all follow a few simple rules, we'll have a happy ship. No smoking, no eating, no walking, no talking, no whistling, no laughing. Now let's make a fun movie. <laughs> Sheila, darling, you look fabulous. Younger every time I see you. I know. It's a curse. <laughs> of course she looks good. She's had so many facelifts, her chin's held up with Velcro. <laughs> Flowers in my dressing room are lovely. It was very thoughtful of you, uh, George and Susan. <laughs> Anything to make you feel comfortable. But well, this house is like a second home to me. When Jennifer was alive, I must have come to a dozen parties here. She was invited to one. She came to a dozen. <laughs> okay, people, we're going to run the scene. Places. We just want to say... Break a leg. Thank you. You're sweet. Georgie and Susan. Hey. Yeah. Let's make magic. Oh, I want to be wrong about you, Sheila. Ready and action. Thank you for coming, Mr. Ross. Please sit down. Your call sounded urgent. I'll get right to the point. I want the lead in summer passion. I'm sorry, Jennifer, but we've offered it to someone else. Sir, I can play this part. <laughs> well, I don't think you have enough experience. What's she doing? She's making me real mad. I have plenty of experience. I know I have to work very, very hard. I'm good. Let me show you. I never did that. I'm willing to do anything. And I never did that. <laughs> and I never did that. Mom, I can't see. What's the idea? Cut! Cut! Good! Good! <laughs> oh, no. Did we just miss what I think we missed? <laughs> One look and my face could have cleared up. <laughs> Sheila, I'm a little confused. The words are right, but your... I'll be acting. Approach. <laughs> Alan, we're talking Jennifer Farrell, not Mother Teresa. But, Sheila... The film has to portray Jennifer Farrell the way she really was. Cheap. It's due for another facelift. Harry, give me a hammer. Sheila, I am no yes man. But, yes, let's try it away. Over my dead body. A little late for that, don't you think? <laughs> All right, everybody. Again, from the top. The living room is now rated R. <laughs> All right, everybody. Again, from the top. The living room is now rated R. Okay, you two, into the kitchen. Why? I want to show you a wonderful new recipe for blindfolds. Ready and ash. Please. Your call sounded urgent. I'll get right to the point. I want to leave. I'm sorry, Jennifer, but we've offered it to someone else. I can play this part. Jennifer, I'm... You don't have enough experience to carry the picture. I have plenty of experience. <laughs> what the hell is this? Sorry, Miss Drake, just a, a mouthful. Again, please. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Mr. Ross. Your call sounded urgent. I'll get right to the point. <laughs> Oh, 
old bread. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, we're going to get some professionals on this set. Oh, will somebody pick us some aspirin? Here, I'll do it. She's in my room. I know right where it is. Uh, the director told me to bring you these. Are you in here? Of course I'm here. <laughs> Put them down and go away. Don't do anything stupid. I beg your pardon? Oh, oh no, not you. I... <laughs> Jennifer? Call me garbage, call me trash, but don't ever call me Jim. Oh! Oh, dare you! Oh, well, I, I wouldn't get out of here. No, no, no give it to me! What I'm crazy? No! Sorry, Miss Drake, I didn't mean it. You have hosed down the stuff. No! Stop! I dislike children as a race. Him in particular. I have been kicked, stripped, and spritzed. Make your movie any way you like, but not with me. Sheila, wait! Let's have lunch! Tell me the truth, Joey. Is it because you think we love your sister more? I'd like to point out that uh, child beating is a felony in this state. I'm a lawyer. I'll find a loophole. So what's new? I can't even get even. Well, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't let Sheila tell all those lies about me. How do I know you're not lying? Remember I asked you to look at me before? Well, now I want you to listen to me. I worked very hard for every win I ever got in my life. Just like you will. And when I got them, it was because I was either smarter or better. Never because I was easier. I need you to believe that, Joey. I can't believe it. I'm sorry. That doesn't help my dad. He's got money in this movie. Well, now, you don't think I would have done all that without a plan. Well, when did you come up with this plan? Any minute now. <laughs> Everybody says it's your fault. There's even talk of putting you up for adoption. Great. I have a six million dollar picture dead in the water. Cast and crew standing around doing nothing. Excuse me, but there's somebody here I think you should see. Studio head, lawyers, agents screaming at me. Excuse me, they sent over a stand-in for Sheila. Thank her for coming. Give her a Danish and tell her to go home. Excuse me, I really think you ought to see her. George. Talk to your wife. Honey, it's been a long day. Nobody's in the mood. Good Lord, I think I'm seeing a ghost. <laughs> Jennifer Farrell's twin. This woman's better looking. Hi, I'm Laurie Bishop. Stand in. Alan Wagner, direct. George Elliott. It's my living room. 
You're very beautiful. You look just like Jennifer Fayla. You know, a lot of people tell me that. But coming from you, that's very special. Thank you. What do you think? Oh, I think. George, she's a stand-in. I'm going to call Sheila's agent. What's going on here? You said only I can see you. Everybody in the room can see you. I know. It feels so great to be whistled at instead of walked through. Well, in an emergency, I can appear to anybody. But just for a short time. How long? Long enough to do a movie. She's not coming back, George. Okay. Okay, what if Laurie, uh, what's your name, can act? Come on, George. This is Hollywood. Get real. <laughs> Call sounded urgent. I'll get right to the point. I want the lead in Summer Passion. I'm sorry, Jennifer, but we've offered it to someone else. But I can play this part. Jennifer, you don't have enough experience to carry the picture. I have plenty of experience, Bert. I know I'd have to work very, very hard. I could. Let me show you how good. I'm willing to do anything. Cut! Cut! Did I do something wrong? Wrong. You were sensational. <laughs> Boopy baby, we've discovered a star. Susan, <laughs> they got a bottle of champagne. You got it, Booby baby. <laughs> okay, everybody, here it is. This is the scene we shot yesterday. If it's half as good as it looks, we got a smash. I gotta meet this Lori Bishop. What does she have that I don't have? Three measurements that aren't the same. <laughs> this is so exciting. We're going to see our living room in our living room. <laughs> Not only that, you're going to see a dead person in living color. Boy, what a comeback. Point. I want to lead in summer passion. Jennifer. <laughs> It never occurred to you? What am I, psychic? <laughs> it was the light. Maybe it was the makeup. Maybe I'll go to my room. Major screw up. <laughs> you know, it's not so bad. You could retitle it The Invisible Starlet from Outer Space and release it as a sci-fi movie. I got a better idea. Go home, Mark. That's a very good idea. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't upset yourself, George. Things could be worse. The movie's a disaster. We'll lose our investment. <laughs> Sheila Drake may sue us because your son went berserk. <laughs> How could things get worse? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> Any more bright ideas? Is that the old mystery? Do what I told you. Excuse me, young man. May I help you? I'm just going over to see Miss Drake. Not in my lifetime. <laughs> Threw me out. Did you grease his palm? I didn't even shake his hand. Do I have to do everything? One moment, I'll check the reservation book. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Drake. You! Get away from me! 
fine. Sit down. <laughs> Didn't you hear me? Yeah, I heard you, but... Yeah, I want to thank you, because... Well, you made me kind of a celebrity. How nice. Frank? And, well, the press wants to interview me, because, you know, I made the big star walk off the movie set. Good for you. Because they're going to be asking me a lot of questions about you, and I wanted to make sure I had my facts straight. What facts? That got her attention. Start with the coke. Well, you made a picture with Jennifer Farrell about six years ago, and I just wanted to know if you still had the $20,000 coat you stole from wardrobe. How do you... That's a lot. <laughs> Good. Go for the overhaul. What? The overhaul. She's got enough plastic in her body to be legally declared a Mattel toy. Is that true? You got enough what? Anything else? Hit it with Spain. Does a hotel in Madrid and a soccer team ring any bells? How do you know these things? I live in Jennifer Farrell's house. Maybe I have some old diaries. Maybe I talk to her ghost. Kind of strange, little boy. Of course. Came back to the set, the press would have no reason to interview me. Then he's a wobbling. <laughs> and if we barred the press from the set, you'd be able to concentrate on doing the script the way it was intended. The truth. It's a novel idea, but I suppose there's some market for that kind of picture. <laughs> She's on the rope. Miss Frank, I tried Frank. to stop. Get your hands off my press agent. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, down to the gown. Bring him a hot fudge sundae and get me a martini. <laughs> Make them both doubles. George, uh, Alan, Susan. Alan. <laughs> okay, Joey, can you just stay in here? That sparkle! Ready and action. Thank you for coming, Mr. Boss. Please sit down. Your call sounded urgent. I'll get right to the point. I want the lead in summer passion. I'm sorry, Jennifer, but we have offered it to someone else. Bert, I can play this part. Isn't she wonderful? Yes. Yes. I still like the stand in Lori Bishop. Too bad she didn't work out. Who cares about her? Sheila Drake is much better. I just don't understand why she came back and why she won't go anywhere without Joey. Why did you ask him? I don't want to bother him. He's talking to the camera. She's good, huh? She's great. She looks terrific. She's doing the scene just the way you want it. She sure is. So what do you think? I still hate her. <laughs> Next, Jonathan's manimal passion for a wolf woman lights her fire on manimal. Then, men fighting for honor, women searching for love. All the action, all the adventure. For love and honor. Tonight on NBC. Be there.